been? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? I'm Alex Suarez, I'm a Drupal developer and theme and consultant. I've been developing Drupal since 2009. Joint director, technical director of Online Perspectives Limited. We do Y label Drupal. I'm regularly on Drupal IRC and active in the community. What is Bean? This is what it says on the DO about Bean on the project page. Block entities aren't nodes. Think of Bean as a method to provide new types compared to node. This would be a content type, which then provides an add content interface to create as many blocks as you require. The Bean content can then be placed around the site just like any other block. So why use Bean? No, I think it has to be a node. <coughs> you don't have to use views to display particular content. You can just create it as a kind of node concept. It's an entity, so it uses the entity API and has its own API, so you can look into that. It's totally customizable because it uses the fields UI, so you can create and manage your fields as per other entities. It's like a node, but you can have multiple bean types or as um, multiple bundles as it events terms. It works with blocks, context panels, etc. You can choose a different view type when you create the bean. You can export it with features and it uses UUID very well, used on a few sites. Because it's an entity, it works with entity translations, so you can have your translatable fields which will appear perfectly on the bean. And it's easy to maintain different beans and create new ones, just like a content type called nodes. Why not just use views? Do you really want the clients to have access to views? Do you really want them to create a new view or edit a view that's existing already and then possibly break the site? You essentially have a view for each bean content, which would be a lot of views. With multiple view modes, it entails extra theming, but with uh, bean as it's using similar context of nodes, you don't need to. <coughs> theme is quick and simple, and it's got an easy UI to manage beans. Let's see Bean. Okay, so when you, uh, you go to the DO and you download your Bean module, um, Bean, it downloads all the other bits and pieces you need with it, hopefully. Okay, it was downloaded, just turns downloaded. So then you go to your modules and you enable your beans. You've got Bean, which is the, the basics of the bean, it's the core for Bean. You've got the app and you to interface, which is where you can, it's kind of like the content page, I'll show you in a sec. And you've got uh, Bean All, which integrates all blocks into Bean, so you can have customizable fields in the beans and then bean UUID. So to create a bean, you just go to structure, block types, add block type, you create one called as you can see it's using the same interface as a content type and an entity. You've got your general content, you know, manage fields, so you can add new fields, you can reference existing fields, and you can manage the display. So let's create a bean. Go to add content and blocks. This is the content page I was telling you about. Um, when you have more beans, you can see what it looks like. <coughs> So these are my different beans, got my different bean types here, and as you can see it lists all your bean content down as per the content section. When you create a bean, you're shown, the label is basically 
what you're referencing it. So when you're looking at it in possibly structuring blocks or in panels, that's the reference title that you're looking for. So let's just call this uh, test. There we are, that should be in created. And then you can just go to blocks. <coughs> you see here, it's created a block. You put it in there. And you can just put it into your content. And that should be. There should be. So I use Bean for. Uh, we had a client um, give us a single page type design with multiple aspects of it and then wants to be able to manage different layouts of the beam and different columns of the beam um, so we suggest the beam and all the content on this page these are all beams so you've got three column two column another two column column with an image on top and then the navigation is all using B. And um, it's all controlled using panels for this one but you can use there's a module that you can create it as a token and you can put it into any content whatsoever. Um, What's it called? The module. Yeah. Oh, it's fine it'd be. Uh, I'll find you afterwards, I've got it on the website where you've done <clears throat> So as you can see, it's just a standard panel. You can add your bean items. As a normal block would be. And then all your titles that you gave your beans are listed in here. There is a module for um, viewing your beans in panels, but it's really buggy and I wouldn't trust it. Yeah, anyway. Um, so if we were to go into one of these beans, See, we've got the, the label of the beam, which is what we're looking what it's called when we're looking in panels. We've got some IDs that I've created so I can have different classes and IDs. And I've got my number of columns, which has just got basic HTML in using the CK editor. And then inside my TPL files, I've just got um, lots of conditions working out. Um, how many columns there is and what it needs to do for the divs. Um, and so with that you've got a lot of flexibility and you've got the multi-language as well here as normal internationalization, the different tabs moving back and forth. I think that's changed. Um, and you can use the translate module to create individual beans, so if you've got one bean already in English and you want it in French, then you just click on translate and you can add the new translation and that will work with internationalization to pick it up. Um, and with Devel, for the developers, um, it creates it as normal content, so you've got your fields. Unfortunately, at the moment, you can't use a pre-process hook to uh, interpret the bean into the template of PHP. So all the code has to be in the TPL files, which is a bit of a shame, but I think they're working on it. And, uh, yeah, sorry. Right. So as you can see, there's multiple variants of bean in use here. The top one is uh, three column one, navigation. This one's got the bits here, background image, or uh, gradient colour with more fields for the text split into two columns. This one is another one that's uh, two columns and three columns. And then uh, 
and there's the photos. Any questions? How, how well does it interact with other modules in the respect of things like OG and all the different, you know, SEO modules, this, that, and the other? Because um, it's an entity, yeah. you can just use the normal standards as you can with content types. So, your fields UI, you can interact into it. And you can hook into it as well. Um, you can actually hook into the entity. Um, entity reference works a bit very well. And it's all exportable, you can upload via features or your new content. It's just it, the aim of the is to make <coughs> different blocks, because when you create your block, you, you can whack your HTML in. But um, if you want the client to be able to create a block, then you've got this ability with all these extra fields you can add for them, and then they can set it out in the blocks, in the regions, or the panels, or display suite, or whatever it takes your fancy. You can move nodes in panels themselves, <coughs> can't you? Yeah, yeah, so you, because it's because I'll show you the panel package, that's yeah. just, there's tons of beans in there, so you can have your normal content, you can have beans below it, and so beans, it, the way it is, beans are like blocks, as they are, but um, you've got more power with the blocks, it's like blocks on steroids, so you've got, in Drupal it's all changing, it's beans like that in core, um, but with bean at the moment you've got all your fields, with block you've just got your title and your body, or if you write a custom module, you can have different fields, but there's no need to when you've got bean. And you can have your different content types, your different bean types, which gives you more power and you can create them easier and they can be put in place a lot simpler as well. What I'm hearing is, is so your, your bean is um, a way of um, leveraging you know, entity type functionality. So you, yeah. can find this, you can find a bean type with, a, as you say, that might have an image at the top and then three fields below. Yeah. Okay, so that's your bean time. So how do you, uh, when you're adding content, yeah. where does the, you add content as? So what's it, when you're creating a note you would, or uh, Same way you would know note content. Or you're talking for creating content in bean. Yeah. Yeah, so bean just work on this, and that just stores all your data in the field tables, yeah. as per entity nodes and etc. So it can be versioned and everything? Yeah. Yep. You can use diff on it as well, the diff module. Um, you can, it, can, it also works with workbench moderation as well. Do you have an example slide of the content? Can you show the content? Yep. Functioning? How you add content? Yeah, I'll show it on the live side. So you can see <coughs> So you've got my label, which is the reference that I'm using for the block. You've got your different view modes, title, and different classes, content. Okay. So it's, it's working exactly like a node does, but. Well, you define it with yeah, a block rather than. Yeah, it's, it's straight into a block so you can use it straight away instead of having to create a view. And can you put the, uh, put a view inside the, in one of the columns? Yeah, you can use um, you can use a view embed token on it, so it will take any tokens, just like a normal um, build. With, with views, you views and nodes, you set up relationships between different types of content to build composite views. Yeah. Is that sort of just that sort of activity process not apply? Not really. I mean, you, you can. There's another module which you can do that in B, but there's not really a real need for it. Because if you want that sort of complexity, yeah, complexity, then you should just be using views. Yeah. yeah. Does block cache work as you would expect it to work on a normal block? Yeah, so it's it's, it's taking the normal caching. Yeah. 
the other tool. Yeah. Is it is it work well with a uh, search app in search engine? <laughs> I don't know, but I would have thought so because it's using NST API and it's got the field references as well, so I would have thought that is something I'd look into. Any others? Awesome. Cool.